All right, guys, they're playing some Aurelia top lane in the newest patch with all of the reworks. And today I want to showcase you guys the strength of Aurelia. I want to showcase you guys how you can 1v9 with her with the new items. So what we have this game is Conquer, Triumph, Alacrity, Elastant, Biscuits, and Cosmic. And then we also have Attack Speed, AD Armor. This game, I want to be showcasing to you guys the new buffed build, um, which is like Blade into a new like item set sort of. We're now building Trinity Force as a secondary item. And the reason why we're doing that um, is because Trinity Force has been buffed. It's actually received a very big buff as well. Might surprise you guys. Blade into Trinity Force has always been like a solid build, but we've had always, uh, we always had Shield Bow um, as our go-to item in Witsend. But now, Everything changes because the shield bow has been changed entirely. It's no longer a mythic item. Trinity Force has everything you need inside one item. And on top of that, it's got some pretty sweet buffs. Like, Aurelia is in a very healthy spot right now. I think I like Aurelia more now than she was like last time. I feel like things changed up a little bit, but... Keeping my Q ready. There you go. Nice gank from the cane. I saw the cane like playing it very safe in the jungle. Like sort of like staying topside, going for that level 3 gank. So I just make sure that Aatrox is going to push into me to ensure that the gank was going to succeed. Playing around junglers is very important, guys. You got to pay attention to how your jungler is like pathing. Make it gankable for your jungler to like gank the lane. Let's see, I'm not gonna press Q right now, I just wanna kind of hold it out a little bit longer. Now we can Q. Oh. Nice. We might just be getting another catch right now. Yep. I uh, played that in near perfection right there. That was awesome. Aurelia is not, like, not just a very good champion towards like all stages of the game, but Aurelia is also like an in insane champion in the early game if you know, you know how you can play Aurelia. Um, some advice that I can give to you guys, some really good advice. Um, a lot of people are struggling with Aurelia to play her. You know how you make her easy or like easier than she should be like? Um, if your wave like management is top level, Aurelia is going to be easier to play. Sounds ridiculous. Sounds like some easy advice, but if you know exactly how to play around your wave all the time, then using your Q, playing aggressively, is so much easier to do. So if you need like to improve on Aurelia, focus on the wave management. Because that, like without proper wave management, she's going to be really hard to play. Like you got to know exactly what you're doing with the wave all the time. Um, it's just going to make her so much easier. So it's not really the champion itself mostly. It's it's also the, the way how you play the lane out. You know, times when you go uh, all in as well. Like yeah, having four stacks does not always mean that you have to all in. Um, you got to know what you're doing. Also with the bone plating, you got to know if your opponent places a bone plating or not. And based on that, you want to all in or not as well. Ooh, we still got that one. Sweet. I want to see if I can go for like a direct all in. And we got him again. Sweet. Let's uh, shove down the wave. Yeah, this is pretty much like... Uh, my lane is looking very healthy. Like, I don't expect to start losing anymore. Like, we just scale more and more. Especially when we get Blade as a first item. 
Now, before we decide to actually go back, I do want to get at least, like, one plate. There you go. And now we go back. And let's go for that one. So, there is a, like, a building concept that I also want you guys to realize. Um... When you play Aurelia, like, you can go into many, like, directions with your build. You can say, you know, go Steelcap's first item. You can go Merc's first item, depending on the matchup. You can go Blade as a first item. You can also decide to go Trinity Force as a first item. You have a lot of, like, different variety of ways to, like, start building her at the start of the match. Um, this game I'm playing as Aatrox, we're having a good time. The sooner I get Blade of the Rune King in this matchup, the harder I win. Because Blade is like a direct power spike to me. And it's unavoidable for Aatrox. If I go in with Blade, I win. Um, he can't walk away anymore. So I'm just rushing Blade. I'm avoiding Steel Caps because I just don't need it in this matchup. Because I'm already winning. Um, however, if it was like a very difficult matchup and I get perma camped all day and... and whole like pace of the game would be different um i would have probably decided to go steel caps a fair chance i probably would but not entirely sure it still depends on the flow of the game but yeah keep that in mind guys um the build path matters a lot it makes the difference in the lane it really gives you a power spike based on how you're doing it So again, like I have a choice here. I can try and fight Aatrox as this guy approaches lane again. Or I can just go back. I can buy the Blade of the Rune King. And then this guy will lose. I will show you what I'm talking about. There you go. Um, as for like maxing abilities, I've currently put like a, uh, like a point in my E here. However, one thing you can also do is actually put a point in your W. Now, it's very situational. If you put points in your W, it's often, um, it's often very good because the cooldown gets reduced a lot. However, if you max E, the cooldown of your E is also being reduced by quite a bit. I actually like both. Both are um, a very solid choice. So it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of up to you. Ah, oh, I messed up my combo. I think it should still be a kill. Yeah, I messed up my combo, you could tell. Um, th yeah, that was just unfortunate. So what I had in my mind was I wanted to hit my... <clears throat> I want to take my combo on the wave, hit like the entire backline to try and stack up my Q. Um, if you paid attention to it, then all in. But it went wrong with my Q, but on cooldown, couldn't use it. Stuck up in the CC as well. It was just really unfortunate. It is what it is. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes there's not much you can do about it. You make one mistake, you get some cooldown, and that's a... Like sometimes you're just gonna queue somebody and the queue goes on the wrong target, you miss the queue, that's it. Sometimes you try and queue the minion, doesn't die from it, you also don't get your queue back. And it can entirely uh, change the the entire fight. It happens. We are the children of the first land. So those are things that you will learn. The more you play Aurelia, the more you learn the limits. That's the bone plating. I'm trying to make sure I get the bone plating down first before I try and fight him. Nice, and we got him. So yeah, you gotta know the limits behind your Q. You gotta know exactly like how much your Q does. If you kind of like know the the um, 
if you know the damage on your Q on the wave, then it's so much easier to use it. And like that pretty much comes down to like how much you play Aurelia. The more you play Aurelia, the more you will learn. So yeah, it's something you learn over time. Like, don't blame yourself on it. If you play Aurelia for the first 10 games in a row, do not expect you to be the perfect Aurelia player. You know, the more you play her, the better it gets. It's a very, uh, Arvelia is a very in, like intense, uh, mechanically difficult champion to play. However, if you if you know how to play her, um, she becomes incredibly OP, if that makes sense. Shut down. I have Another catch. Just by waiting, by being patient. Not bad. Told the worst joke. And now we get this wave and then we back off. Nice. Uh, yeah, let's just get the tower gone because the Aatrox is still dead. There you go. Now we go back. We got like 2.7k, so we can almost buy the Trinity Force. We're actually pretty close. I can't really sell this now. Nah. We're just missing just a little bit. But that's okay with me. Like, at least we can't afford the boots right now. But yeah, man, like, I don't know. The new Trinity Force, in my opinion, I like it so much more than the Shield Bow build that, that, like, which was like meta previously. Now we actually have a new meta build, and I'm excited to see, like, what our really is going to be in the near, you know, future, in the upcoming weeks. You know, seeing people, like, experiment with this build. Like, the shield bow build has never been wrong. It's it's also been pretty OP as well. But I like the Trinity Force. It's like a different taste to the champion. I like that they buffed it. Like they nerfed like shield bow, but in return gave you just like an uh, like an alternative option, which I'm just happy with. Oh, I messed up my combo. Oh, yeah, the bone plating is still down. Hmm. I don't think I will go for that jump. I refuse to do it. It's just not really smart. This guy's staying max range. Well, no wards. I mean, uh, no camps, I mean. <laughs> I love how he's checking it out. Oh, I auto attack the minion. Ah, oh, he gets away again. Hmm. Yeah, he's getting away. At least I'll get the tower done, sure. Nice. Well, that's interesting. Oh, he even went for a flash! Oh! Alright, goodbye. Oh, yeah, he actually goes for the fight. Oh. Interesting. I'll take this before Poppy's gonna steal. There you go. I gotta make sure I take it because I don't want Poppy to be able to obtain it. Nice. 
There you go. Okay. Um, let's go for the reset. I'm uh, going to be building Trinity Force. And after Trinity Force, I think it's going to be a, um, a death stance for sure. Because um, they have like a full AD team, if that makes sense. They got a... Let me check. No, they don't actually don't have a full AD team. There you go. But I, I will still go for the, the death stance. I have to get it. It's going to make this game so much easier to play out for me. Check this out. We're gonna go top, try and kill that Aatrox. Thank you, appreciate it. Not sure what that guy's thinking, but this guy's also gonna die. Yep. Man, I like Aurelia. Aurelia is just an awesome champion. Like, I encourage you guys, if you've never played Aurelia before, like, give her a try, and not just for one game, but like, try playing her like 30 games and see if you like her. Like, try and get the hang of like how she works. She's just fun to play, man. And also extremely OP if if you know like the the, the playstyle. Like I think personally, a more fun champion than Aureli it does not really exist in my eyes. You have fun champions like uh, you have like alternatives like Rengar top lane, Riffin top lane, Fior top lane, Camille, you know, you know Jax, all all these fun champions that has like some type of like outplay potential. But Aurelia is unique in this case. It's like Riffin as well. Riffin is super unique and Aurelia is the same concept. Just very unique. You don't get bored of playing Aurelia. Because there's like... Like... So many different variety of combos you can use. Um, I think we can make a huge play here. We can try. Let's see. One ultimate is all we need. Hmm. They hit a double Q. Man, Trinity Force is a such a beast of an item. Unbelievable. Look at my damage, man. Because of Chendi Force. <laughs> Just me trying to spam it. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. I got perma CC by Poppy. Couldn't move. CC for almost 7 seconds. Wow, that's a long time. Seven seconds. Yeah, he's dead. The Aatrox is uh, completely useless. Oh man, ceiling support is crazy OP in my opinion. <laughs> Feels like a Yumi version 2.0. I always like Zillion supports. Always. Always nice to play with them. Oh, that looks kind of bad. It's a winnable team fight if you show up. Man, Poppy is a direct counter to me, like, it's designed to counter me, literally. Ah, I missed them both.
that's messed up. That Poppy, that champion, is the biggest counter of Aurelia. Like, she can just hit one ability and my Q will always cancel. Like, always. I will never be able to hit it twice. Because the, the Q will cancel mid-air, which means it, it doesn't apply on anything. And then I will just lose it. There's nothing you can do about it against Poppy. Like, unless you're, like, really close range. And you somehow hit Q before she hits W. Only then. It's completely unplayable against her. Um, next, we're going to go for a Wits End. Like, this is going to be the best option here. We need some... Uh, we, we need Wits End for this guy. And then, like, final item is probably GA. Let's go. A quick question. Is there a reason why you max E first instead of W? It's because of the cooldown. If you max E, uh, it reduces the cooldown. Basically able to use it more. Mm -hmm. Oh man, Poppy. I hate Poppy. The design is crazy. Like, I knew that's going to happen when I press R. There should be a cleanup for my team. The Lux got separated. Oh man. We're getting directly countered. I can feel... Oh man, a guy's gonna quad. I can feel the champion difference. I cannot play against Poppy. I, I sort of rely on my team here, kind of. That's kind of disappointing. It's like Poppy is the only champion you do not want to see. Like that guy is an exception. Like you don't want to see that stuff. It's the only champion that can do this, by the way. Only Poppy is able to cancel Q like that. Your turret has been destroyed. We're going to change, you know, plan a little bit. We can't really rely on team fights that much. Fight for what hasn't been. Baron. Yeah, so split pushing is the way to go. It's the best thing we can do. Since like team fighting is kind of hard to do. Um, somebody can appear. Only Aatrox and Shen are, are showing up. I'm gonna keep the, uh, the the wave buffed up and then let my team push. Yeah, these guys have to like buff up lanes. Walking into an Audi like that is a bad idea. None can do what I do, so I will do it. Let's see. Okay. It's the best uh, chance we can get. Nice. Okay. I hope they are going to do it again. I'm glad that we got Baron buff. Oh, that guy's gonna die. Oh, 
Oh, man. That's unfortunate. These guys are actually so fed right now. Again, like another unwinnable team fight. Mm. Yeah, we have to do it again. We just have to go back to ball lane this time and do the same strategy. Just, just uh, split push our way to victory. We can't win team fights. I tried four times or three times and we lost every single team fight. It's just unplayable. There's literally no chance. I was kind of hoping they would start Drake because the jungle was still dead. Almost a good catch. Not bad. Two people top lane? No way. Like, Drake is up right now. That's really good. Even if they kill me, they'll still have to fight their own. This is really good. Like, the AD carry is actually gone. This is a... Uh, we outnumbered this one. Yeah, let's go. This might probably be the end of the game. If they keep on chasing it down, we will win. If my teammates pay attention, we don't. you don't have to get a jungle cam. We're about to end the game here. Man, we were still winning against Poppy right there. Nice. Hey, this is uh, Aurelia Top Lane. Thanks so much for watching. Today's a YouTube bit. And I'll see you next time. Peace.